Hi Felters and welcome. In this video I'm very quickly going to show you what is carded wool and how to card your own wool or mix colours together. So what is carded wool is where all the fibres are mixed up and meshed up. So this is a carded wool, if you can see that. It is all me messed up in all directions. Um, this is a roving or tops where it is all in one direction. So carded wool, I do a video on wools, so do have a look at that to explain all the wools further. But if you have some roving or tops and you want to card it yourself, because it's a lot easier to use a carded wool, especially when you're a beginner, roving or tops is fine. You will get used to them eventually. And I use them for a lot of coats. But if you have some roving and it's taking you ages to card, uh, to felt, how can you card it? So straight off, the simplest thing you can do without any tools is to go like this. And then you mess it up a bit. And it's a lot easier to felt straight away. Um, you can mess it up quite a bit and it still might show the seams if you add more. So it's a, an interim way of starting how to do it. So it does work quite well. What's the next stage if you want to turn this into carded? Basically, these are very simple dog brushes or they are sold as carders, but you and I know that that's exactly what dog brushes look like. These cost me about £10 for two. They are the first stage carders. They are nice and small and great if you are a beginner. So you do think these look like they're going to comb the um, roving out, but they don't. They mix it up. So place the roving on the carder, get the other one and pull it through. And you think, well, that's combing it out, but it's not. Push it back up to transfer it to the other one. Doesn't work very well. I tend to just roll it back round like that and then it goes on to that one. And I do lots of mixing like that. So here it is up close. I realised I didn't show you well enough exactly what I was doing with the paddles. So put it on one and then just pull the other one across it. And then when you've done that a few times, just transfer the wool back on to the other paddle and start again. Those long bits, you can just curl them under. They're getting in the way. There's no sort of great technique to it. You're just dragging one across the other and then transferring it back. And I do this at least six or seven times and then just have a look at it. You can take it off, see what it looks like. And this will mess it up and make it a lot easier to use. So there is it mixed up even better than if you were doing it by hand. So they don't cost much. You can get the next size of carders are quite large. They are a good 25 to 30 pounds, possibly more. Or if you're going to do it professionally you can buy the big drum carders but they cost hundreds of pounds and you literally roll one and it transfers onto the other i've not used one so i don't know exactly how they work so that has worked much better than doing it by my hand so that's the carded one on the carders the other reason you might want to use that is if you wanted to combine wools if you have say you're trying to do this isn't the colour that I want it for but say you're trying to do a chestnut horse a chestnut horse can be all sorts of different colours so you would take one colour and take a lighter colour and you want to mix them together to create your own colour and this is where carders come in I'll just do a very small bit of the two place it on the carder and then away you go it takes a while to mix colours I'm not gonna lie so transferring from one to the other I also have to warn you that wool goes everywhere and sometimes it takes a while to get the evenness all the way through I think that's not too bad so I've put it on there let's pull it off I haven't got the original colour. Let's try and bring out the original colour. There we go. 
So that was the original colour and that is the mixed colour. It's very tricky for you to see, but I can see that that is a bit lighter. So if you want to mix your own colours, that is how you would do it. And I do recommend if you're just a beginner, these are a very good price for a starter. It's, in, it's really tricky to do it with just one, so you do need the two. So that's how you card your own wool. Thanks for watching. Happy felting. Why are you still recording? Because I was about to start. Oh, don't ask Daddy. Yes, go and ask Daddy. No. A couple of ugh, that's wrong. That's wrong. It's where all the fibres are mis mess. <laughs> Can't even get my words out.